Hi, I'm Mary Lonza and I wrote Losing the Boomer Blues, Boomer Chicks, and Boomer Chicks Mask Up. Three very delightful little stories and they're very short. So if you pick one up and read it, you'll be done in a few hours. And uh, Boomer Chicks, that you'll be done with in about an hour. And losing the Boomer Blues will take a little bit longer, maybe two, two and a half hours. Uh, Boomer Chicks Mask Up, which takes you up to the present right now in the 2020s, that'll probably take you uh, an hour and a half. <laughs> it depends on how fast you read. But anyway, you'll love them. You can visit my website at www.marylonza.org or www.authormarylonza.com. <laughs> and I will tell you a little bit now about the stories. The stories will take you back to the 60s, Losing the Boomer Blues will. It'll be, it's, it's like in the present, and the main characters are Mary Jane and Lucy, who are high school buds, and they meet in high school in the 60s. They graduated in 1967, and after graduation, they entered uh, into the beautiful world of the Summer of Love. <laughs> they went to many concerts. They marched in peace marches. They were, uh, marched in equality marches. They uh, fought for justice for all people. Uh, they were wonderful, wonderful beautiful women and of course they believed in women's rights and and feminism so they were you know blessed to have boyfriends who supported that and of course wanted to um, protect other people's uh, civil rights Okay, so I would like for you to go to www.marylonza.org or Mary, author marylonza.com and order yourself uh, a copy for just a few bucks. You can download it onto your, your phone and read it. Um, and that way would be much easier for you and you could give me a review i really need reviews so i'm i i'm hoping that you will learn a little bit about history if you're very young you will remember the history of the 60s if you are a boomer and you will enjoy the stories you will really enjoy the stories you'll love them because you'll be able to relate to them if you are a boomer and if you aren't a boomer, you'll be able to say, gee, I wished I would have lived during the 60s because this really sucks living here in the 2020s. What went wrong? Why is there all this hate? Why is everyone lying? Uh, what is the true history of, of everything? I mean, everything's been distorted. I, I, you know, so just read my books and then read the Constitution while you're at it. And then maybe you'll, you'll, you'll get a feeling of, of how things were really bad back then during the time that our fathers were trying to create this constitution. Uh, you'll, you'll get a feel of uh, all the prejudice and, and racism that was going on then, uh, you know, through slavery and uh, raiding the uh, raiding the Native Americans uh, out of their their homes, <laughs> you know, this was their home first. It wasn't the white man's home. I mean, come on, let's get together. Let's be inclusive of all races, all creeds, all colors. Come on. I mean, how hard is that? This is the United States of America. We're a melting pot. <laughs> we don't want to go back. I mean, the 60s, we strove, we were striving for all this to get it all together. We got it together almost, <laughs> not quite, right? And someone came along and started lying and, and COVID and, and it just it, it really, really put us in a bad way. So we're, we have to, uh, 
get it together as a nation because we need to do something about climate change. We need to do something about racism. We need to do something about equal rights for all people, all sexes. We just need to, to act now because it's, it's pretty bad. So anyway, read my books. They're very easy to read, so you won't have any problem. You'll knock them out in no time. And what you'll do for me is you'll give me an idea of how you how you like my stories. I, I want people to love my books. I, I want them to be easy to read and easy to comprehend and, and make you have a thirst for history and, um, and more knowledge about what went on. You know, in my book, it's all fun and games with Mary Jane and Lucy and they're they, they discover these shades that, sent, you know, they put them on and they revisit the past. Well, it, it's a fun story, but when you get down into the the last story, uh, the, the last book, uh, Boomer Chicks Mask Up, you find that, oh my God, where have we, we're, we've gone back to where we came. I mean, we're going back even further than the 60s now. And so us boomers, we're wondering what in the heck went wrong, you know? We can't have hate anymore. We can't have guns and violence. We can't have that kind of stuff going on. No, we we, we got to pray for peace in Ukraine. We have to hope and pray that we do something, get a handle on this climate change. Maui's burning right now, okay? This is not good. So. I want you to read my stories and let me know uh, through a review of how what you think about them. It's really important to me because I really wanted to create these these little stories for years, and and uh, I finally did. And I the time that I did it, I didn't have any idea when I first started writing uh, Boomer. Uh, the losing the boomer blues i had no idea that we'd be back even worse off than we were before so the books will will be fun to read so would you please read them and 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 start learning a, a little bit about our constitution and about the real history of the united states of america thank you www mary lonza.org or www.authormarylonza.com. Thank you. Ciao. Pick up a book now when you visit my websites. Bye.